Hey, what's up, guys? This is Cody the Coin Raptor, and welcome to my channel. I'm here to provide you the best crypto content you can find in 10 minutes, starting with our ETH, our ETH chart TA. Ethereum has been on fire. It almost went all the way to $2,000. Yesterday, I was saying that it's entirely possible that it can run all the way up there. Today, it tried. It came all the way up to about 1940 or so and got pushed back down again. Now, it reaching $2,000 would be incredibly significant because that would be strong psychological support and then strong psychological uh, resistance as well. So we expect that this level, um, when you get up to about every $500 or so, you can see there's a lot of interest in this area. And so uh, I expect that ETH right now is a little bit overbought. And I expect in the short term, Ethereum is probably going to come down. It's probably going to have a, 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 a dip buying opportunity here uh, very shortly within the next couple of days, I think. But even if it comes down a little bit, the long-term uptrend would still be intact. It might come down a little bit and, and retest here at 1700 or so, maybe even slightly lower than that. We'll see. But right now, if you can check the RSI, it's incredibly overbought. It's at about 67 or so on the daily. So it's, it's very, very close to uh, where the, the peak of RSI was uh, back in 18th of July. So... For the, for the short to medium term, I'm thinking right now that Ethereum is going to chop sideways, move down a little bit, and then it will continue this long-term uptrend that it's made uh, as we approach the merge. And I want to go ahead and get right into the merge, okay? So the merge is happening, and the merge date has been set for the most part to a, a tentative uh, September date. And that right now uh, would be likely September 15th, 16th, or the 20th. And this was actually announced uh, yesterday, right? This was actually announced yesterday, but I recently got a hold of that information and it seems like the actual, the actual date has not been set just yet. But the fact that the date has been set at all, or a very small range of the day has been set, leads to a massive, massive spike in the ETH prices. So you can see this volume coming in here right now. This volume is volume that we haven't seen for some time, not since uh, that 18th of July run up. So the merge date has been set tentatively, okay? And so what that means is, what the merge is actually gonna accomplish here is, several things see it's going to transition the ethereum from proof of work to proof of stake it'll reduce ethereum's energy consumption by approximately 99.9 percent .9%. all right now they're saying on the actual official website for ethereum.org it's going to be shipped at uh, a q3 q4 so they haven't officially announced a date yet there's some speculation that was going to be in september september 15th or 16th but I think that it's entirely possible that we see it uh, for sure by the end of the year. Okay, so they're working right now with the uh, with merging it with the main net. They have done the side nets and they have been able to uh, make sure that it works properly, right? And now uh, they're going to get ready to merge it with the main net on those tentative dates. So what do you need to do to get ready? You need to do nothing, basically. You don't have to do anything. All we have to do is wait and see. And the reason why this has been uh, fueling this massive run up from the June lows is because this is widely considered to be the most important upgrade in ETH's history. Okay? Massive, 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 massive. And um, based on the positive information that we've gotten I think that the this merge is going to be, um, as I've said before, a type of event that people buy into just before it happens, and then when the event actually happens in September, I'm expecting there's going to be some selling pressure coming in and, and driving the price lower, because oftentimes what happens is traders like to come in, they will buy the rumor, essentially, which is, hey, it's happening, and then they will sell the actual news, which is the event that's happening. 
So that's entirely possible. I think that's likely what's going to happen. Uh, I will definitely be watching it. And if you guys want more information, please let me know. Um, follow me on Twitter. That gets you the most up-to-date information and uh, all my thoughts about the market and everything. And honestly, I'm looking to hopefully get a good dip buy into ETH uh, shortly within the uh, within hopefully like the weekend or maybe early next week. We'll see what happens. Now, we also have to talk about Bitcoin. So give it a sec. Loads up. All right. Bitcoin also tried to break out of this upward channel that we've been talking about. It came up. It touched it touched about uh, 24,900 and then was strongly rejected. However, you can see right here, Bitcoin is still in this very nice upwards channel. And the RSI currently is at about 58 or so. We've talked about recently that it's, it's having trouble going above 61. So it's very close to being uh, oversold and, and right next to that that uh, resistance for the RSI on the daily. So I expect for Bitcoin right now, it's going to continue to follow this pattern. It's going to stay within the upward channel. It's going to chop sideways a little bit more, and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to go up. But for the immediate short term, it's probably going to pull back a little bit because it is a little overbought. Uh, and, and intermediate term, it's going to continue this pattern here. It's going to continue trending upwards. It's going to continue putting in higher, higher lows and also higher highs. I also want to make sure we check on the 200 week moving average we're going to go ahead and put that up here all right so you check the 200 week moving average it's still at 23,000 if you can get some dip buys in below 23,000 that would be ideal that is what i'm going to be trying to do and we may have more opportunities coming up uh shortly because like i said it's very overbought right now all right and it dipping below 23,000 wouldn't wouldn't cancel the uptrend you would just basically come down at about uh, about here or so, and you can get a, hopefully get a couple of uh, buy down in here in this region uh, below 23,000. All right, so next thing I want to show you is the dollar index. The dollar index has been getting crushed. Uh, not, not a big shock here, but the dollar index has been going down pretty massively because Bitcoin's been going up, and when Bitcoin goes up, the dollar index tends to go down, and the dollar index has been losing steam ever since it tried to uh, make a new high at, at about $109. It's been losing steam, and right now it looks like it's in the middle of, of falling and breaking down completely. So this is something we like to see. Uh, for Bitcoin and for cryptocurrency, that's very bullish. All right, so one other really important uh, news article that came out recently was that BlackRock, which is a, uh, a huge asset manager, they actually have... Uh, trillions of dollars under management. They have uh, they manage 8.5 trillion dollars. Okay, and these guys have gotten a bad reputation, and I honestly don't trust them. But in order to in order to further the expansion of the adoption of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, you have to have these big institutional clients come in here and say, well, we're interested in that cryptocurrency. So what they're doing right now is they've established a trust. OK, this trust uh, seeks to track the price of the biggest cryptocurrencies. And right now, they're apparently they're seeing substantial interest from clients. So their clients are saying to them, hey, I want to get into cryptocurrency, but uh, maybe I don't want to do it by myself or I want you to man manage the assets for me instead. And they are obliging. So the fact that they have uh, decided to put together this Bitcoin trust uh, means that they're also going to be competing against the likes of a grayscale, right? The GBTC. They are going to be competing directly against GBTC and establishing this trust that allows their clients to invest in cryptocurrency, which is huge. This is incredibly bullish. The fact that this is happening during a bear market is nothing short of remarkable. But again, I don't honestly trust these guys, but we don't need to trust these guys because... Um, their clients are very interested. I don't have my money invested in BlackRock or anything, but their clients are very interested in getting into cryptocurrency, which to me is very bullish. All right, that's all I've got for you today. If you like this content, please let me know. Please like and subscribe. Send me a message on, uh, on Twitter and leave a comment. I greatly appreciate that. This is Cody the Coin Raptor signing out.